Well guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all. Welcome to Heart Tongue Family Farms. And today I'm gonna give you guys a little crop tour right now. It's rainy, it's Friday the 24th or 5th, one of those. And we got an inch and a half of rain last night and this morning and this afternoon. And with more rain coming, severe weather, there's a tornado warning on a cell that's heading right for us. That's probably like an hour out. So we'll see what that does for us. But I am up in Preston right now because my goddaughter Amber Hartung, Pat's daughter, youngest daughter, has her surprise birthday party. So shh, that's what we're supposed to know about that yet. But I am going to head out, at least while I'm up here, go take a look at the first field that we planted, see how that's doing, and just give you guys a little crop tour. So first I'm going to, I forgot to close the lids all the way on my shuttles and my chemical the other day, so I gotta shut them. You vent, you, you open the lids slightly, just allow air. Because when you're pumping, when you're pumping chemical out, it's like a vacuum. When you have this much air and you constrict it, it constricts the container and it'll it'll either buckle it or potentially even burst it. So you gotta vent them. So hey Phil. Alrighty guys, let's head over to the field. So I just talked to my uncle Phil. Actually, a lot of my family's in town. My cousin Curtis graduates. Curtis Pat's youngest boy graduated graduated high school last week and a half ago, two weeks ago. So his grad party's on tomorrow so a lot of families in town so we're gonna go have a nice family dinner but before that like I said let's go check out some fields we're just gonna go check out the one that was first planted this mainly because it's really wet out and I, don't have, I have pretty nice clothes on as you guys can see but we'll see go out and see if what all is germinating I'm thinking so this field has been planted for seven days now yeah seven no eight and a half to nine days nine days so it's gonna be pretty close to popping up I'm guessing I'm guessing with the weather we've had it's germinated probably just starting to pierce the surface I might see a couple wow it's really muddy I should have worn my boots oh well so I'm guessing that we might see a couple seeds that are starting to pierce the surface but I'm hoping for the most part they're all right below the surface ready to pop up once we get probably in the next couple days so we're right west of, or north of my grandma's house. Right there is the grain bin set up. There's a hill with the cows. Right here, going north to Jerry's cattle yard and Jerry's house. That's the field we're on. It is really muddy out here, guys. So I think if I go right here, I should be up on top of the hill. I should be decent. We'll see. These bugs are bad. Oh, man. These things weren't here a couple days ago. Jeez. So let's go ahead and dig and see what we got. Look what I see, guys. I see life. I dug in about <laughs> protein. That's what that just was. So I dug in, dug in about two inches. So I just removed two clumps, and sure enough, I'll pull a seed out, and we'll see it. We'll see. Let's take a look at it. Man, these bugs are annoying the crap out of me. But fun fact, guys. Multiple tornadoes have touched down in the ground in southeastern Johnson County around Iowa City. Nice! I just got alert systems from University of Iowa since I'm technically enrolled there. But. There you go guys. This corn seed's already got about a two inch long root. It's germinating pretty well. Looking good, so the first corn of the year is actually starting to germinate. This thing will probably start poking through the ground in the next day or two, especially the nice weather we've been having or the nice growing weather. Holy, these bugs are bugging me. No pun intended. So we were happy with this, so let's go check the no-till field that we planted a couple days or a day after that. Driving the four-wheeler. Some of my best things, to do, favorite things to do on the farm is just drive around on a nice day. Just so peaceful, so much better than the city. So just east of this field, guys, is our no-till bean field, or bean stubble ground that we no-tilled corn in the next day. So we planted this, my recollection is right, it was either Wednesday night, Wednesday afternoon or Thursday afternoon. I wanna say it was Wednesday afternoon, and we planted this the next day, the next morning. So let's dig a little bit. Mm. 
digging a lot longer than I thought I would have had to. The first one I just dug, moved two clumps and it was good. Well guys, I'm struggling a bit. I just remembered that, so the marks that you guys are visibly seeing, that's actually the anhydrous bar. Uh, that's, that's the shanks that I went through here. The planter is actually gonna leave a lot less disturbance, soil disturbance. Oh, here we go. Here I should be able to find some. But basically, these defined marks are our anhydrous bar. And this right here, this little crack in the soil surface that didn't get closed up, that's from the planter. So he's actually planting about half and half, but that was just pure chance. So let's dig and find a seed. There's a seed. So it's a little bit farther behind. Kind of tell, but the other stuff was just about to crack through the surface. It's probably a half a day behind, which makes sense. So this one's about an inch and a half tall. We'll, we'll dig this one up and take a look at it. So you guys can see not near the root growth, but it's still well on its way, it's germinating. But a 2019 corn crop, some of it is on, th is on its way. Sweet. I'm amazed at how well these bugs can travel, can hang on to me when I'm moving on a four-wheeler. These gnats are just nasty. beneficial that we went to a planter instead of a drill but I'm gonna have to save that for another time because I'm already late and I need to get going to my niece or to my goddaughter's surprise party but let's give it I'll end you with this this cool little side by side of these seeds it's kind of neat showing that it's kind of cool what one day will do this is planted a half a day before each other so half a day before this one the corn crop is underway, guys. Excited about it, but if you guys have any questions, please drop a comment down below. I'll try to, we're gonna have rain for probably the next week, so it's not looking good. So if you guys have any questions or anything, I'll be up at the farm a couple times doing preventative maintenance. I can answer some questions for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Hartung Family Farms. And of course, guys, as always, for now. now that is a fire. Holy mackerel, that is some black thick smoke.